only get one time to shine Don't talk about it, be about it Running is the only thing on my mind It's joking time, baby uh. You know what time it is, baby You know what time it is It's jogging time Day seven Day seven You only get one time to shine on them You know Day seven, December 20th 70 mile week challenge 70 mile week challenge, baby Let's make it do what it do now I tell you this I tell you this To be super transparent Yesterday I pushed At the end there I pushed a tad bit too hard And um, I, I'm actually My body's redlining My body's redlining right now Which means Injuries um, There's a high possibility For injuries um, I felt that yesterday Last night um, Around mile number 9 When I pushed I pushed a tad bit really hard actually i had pushed really hard on mile number nine last night like i said super transparency right here um i pushed a little too hard yesterday and now i'm having um some slight pain all right this is the truth on the 70 mile running challenge for 2020 all right it's a weekly challenge the week challenge or whatever but um yeah last night man after mile number nine uh, when I was about a hundred yards away from hitting the nine mile mark, um, I ended up feeling a little slight pain. So yeah, I'm uh, redlining right now, which means it's over usage, um, also overtraining. Okay, um, and some athletes, you may you know maybe a beginner athlete, you may be a beginner runner or whatever. Or, but when 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 you're redlining and you're overtraining, overuses, that um, what 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 can happen there, folks, is muscle fatigue. You can have uh, fractures, strains. Um, you know, you can really injure yourself if uh, you're not cautious about your redlining levels and how you feel, especially on recovery. Making sure you get not enough rest. Uh, getting the right nutrients and hydration protein levels vitamins and everything else and that's one thing I did pay attention to last night was everything that I need to do to get to this moment so what we're gonna do on day seven baby all right this is what we're doing today man we're gonna get out here we're gonna enjoy the run we're not gonna set no pace we're just gonna get out here breathe relax Listen to the music, okay? We're going to enjoy the music, and we're just going to get in the zone, listen to the body, and just enjoy life. You know what I'm saying? Stay positive. Come oh, on, man. Y'all be positive. Stay positive, man. Okay? Beautiful day. Beautiful day. Let's go. We're four miles in, four miles in, and uh, one thing I do know is I go back and I think about what what actually happened during the run yesterday that actually uh, was the cause of my back starting to hurt. And one thing I did did think about was I was overstriding because I was reaching, I was pushing to get to that that minute mark per mile, and I overstrided, which 
as a runner, that's something you gotta watch out for is overstriding. Making sure you're taking great stride lengths. So overstriding can cause injuries. I mean, all runners know that. And you should know that too. So paying attention to your steps per minute and your form, how you're landing, if you're leaning um, too much or being too straight up, like paying attention to your running form really does matter. And yesterday, like I said to a friend of mine, I said, why, why is your back hurting? I said, rookie mistake, you know? Wasn't paying attention to my form, was running all wild, overstrided. And some of the things you can watch out for, and uh, here's some good pointers real quick. Here's a good tip on how you can prevent running injuries. Keep track of how many miles you spend in your running shoes, all right? And uh, if you can afford it, get two pair of running shoes and make sure you rotate those running shoes, you know, throughout the week, throughout the runs. Also, here's another one. Every 300 to 500 miles, get some new running shoes, okay? That right there will prevent so many injuries just keeping up with your shoes, you know? And also, proper running form, like I said, but making sure you stretch, stretch before and after each run, okay? Well, here we are, baby. We're about six miles in before I run out of daylight. I just wanna thank you guys for watching this week's 70 mile week running challenge and uh it was fun it was fun honestly guys as you guys know i can run 70 miles in my sleep okay but really the challenge this week was all about staying positive you know staying positive even when things got tough even when we were tired you know we didn't feel like getting up going to work then putting putting on the running shoes and getting out here and get, getting at it and also lifting weights so just staying positive well, all right man i'm about done talking okay but it was really about just being positive staying positive and you know intentionally paying attention to the attitude that we have throughout the whole week you know and that's what it's about intentionally trying to grow intentionally trying to create self development change personal growth it's really what it's all about baby all right man y'all know what it is y'all make it do what it's doing now you want to get one time to shine baby Woo. beautiful day Beautiful day. Huh. Love it, baby. We out here making it do what it do. Don't talk about it. Be about it. There we go, baby. There we go. 10.22 miles today. Make it do what it do. Huh. You only get one time to shine Don't talk about it, be about it Running is the only thing on my mind It's joking time, baby huh. 